A key part of modern recruitment is understanding how to use data effectively as part of your process. While I would never suggest that a player at any level should be signed purely based on their data profile, it is important to understand the story that the data is telling you. Data can help you cut through some of the noise created by the sheer number of professional footballers that exist in the game today. Wisecout is an incredibly useful tool for clubs at all levels with their access to video and data but it can be easy to get lost down a rabbit hole of footage if you are not careful. As part of Total Football Analysis, we offer clubs, players and agencies a consultancy service and a large part of that is built around the use of data and video scouting to provide a shortlist of players that fit a specific profile. To this, we make use of a tool that we know as Xgold. This has been custom built in-house to streamline the use of data in the identification of talented players. In a series of articles for the website, Lee Scott will be using XGO to identify players that have similar profiles to a more well-known player in this position. The first profile we will look at is Trent Alexander-Arnold of Liverpool and England. But before we get stuck in, make sure you are subscribed to the Total Football Analysis YouTube channel. My name is RDF, let's get stuck in to this video. First of all, team style is an important consideration for any player profile. We can see, for example, that Trent Alexander-Arnold has a relatively poor defensive output when compared to all other right-backs who have played at least 350 minutes in the English Premier League. This is partially a result of Liverpool's style of play, which was more ball-dominant last season than most of the Premier League sides. His strengths are easily as clear as his weaknesses with 16.31 progressive passes per 90 and 11.11 passes into the final third per 90 showing how effective he was as a ball progressor for his side. He also averaged an impressive 6.38 crosses per 90 and 7.95 passes into the penalty area per 90. This saw Trent create good chances for his teammates with 0.21 expected assists per 90 and 0.19 assists per 90. So, the above gives us a control profile for a client who is looking for a right back who has a similar playing style to Trent Alexander-Arnold. We now know what we are looking for, so now let's move on to the shortlist. The first player on Lee Scott's list is Hugo Sequet, 19 years of old, plays for Standard Liège and Belgium. Hugo Sequet is an 18 year old Belgian right back who is currently contracted to Standard Liège, having come through their youth system. Sequet is listed at 178cm, 5'9 and he is predominantly right footed. The young Belgian fullback played 1,573 minutes in the Belgian top flight over the course of last season and he has started this season as a regular part of the first team setup. When we look at his profile, we start to see a young player that has certain similarities to Trent, although these are mostly in the attacking and passing sections of the profile. Sequet became an important player for his side with his ability to progress the ball forward effectively on the right side of the pitch. He averaged 14.42 progressive passes per 90 with 5.03 passes into the final third per 90 and 6.6 .6 passes to the penalty area per 90. Having also done some video work around Sequet, it was interesting that he also is capable of hitting the long diagonal switches that Trent also is known for. In the attacking phase, Sequet is also impressive with 5.09 crosses per 90, 0.24 expected assists and 0.34 assists per 90 as well. The young fullback provides a threat from the wide areas with accurate delivery into the penalty area with the ability to flow or whip deliveries into the penalty area. Defensively, Sequet actually has a stronger output than Trent with 9.38 defensive duels per 90 with a 59.76% success rate and a 2.69 aerial duels per 90 with a 55.32% success rate and finally with a 6.98 possession adjusted interceptions. Number 2 on the list is Guillaume Biancone, 21 years old from Monaco and France. Biancone has just returned to his parent club Monaco following a very impressive long spell in the Belgian top flight with Circle Bruges. Biancone is a product of the youth system at Monaco and has had two long spells with the Belgium side. Biancone is listed at 187cm, 6'2 and he is predominantly right footed. While his attacking metrics are slightly poorer than those that we've seen so far from Trent Alexander-Arnold and Sequet, 
His passing and defensive outputs are very strong. In the attacking phase, first of all, we see that Biancone averaged 4.21 crosses per 90 last season and 3.11 progressive passes per 90. His assist and expected assist numbers, however, are notably lower than Trent's. He is strongest in his passing and progression metrics with 12.34 progressive passes per 90 and 7.75 passes into the final third along with 4.59 passes into the penalty area per 90. Biancone saw a lot of the ball last season for Circle and grew into a strong ball progressor for the club. In the defensive phase of the game, Biancone also impressed with 9.83 defensive duels per 90 with a success rate of 66.67% and 4.21 aerial duels with a success rate of 51.95%. This is combined with 6.33 possession adjusted interceptions. It looks unlikely that Biancone will be loaned out again this season and instead he will start this year as part of the first team picture at Monaco. Number 3 on the list is Denzel Cassius, 18 years old, from FC Volendam on loan from FC Utrecht and Netherlands. Cassius is an 18 year old Dutch right back who is currently contracted to Volendam on the second year. He is on an 18 month loan from FC Utrecht having moved from Volendam from this year. Cassius was initially a product of the youth system at Feyenoord before moving first to Den Haag and then to Utrecht. He has yet to make a first team appearance at his parent club. Cassius is listed at 180 cm, 6 foot, and is predominantly right footed. He is similar to Trent in that his attacking and passing outputs are far superior to his defensive metrics, but similar to Liverpool, we tend to see Volendam play in a very possession heavy style. At this point, we have to address the very obvious issue of the level of competition. We're not suggesting in any way that Liverpool, for example, should be looking to sign a player like Cassius in order to move him into the first team. As a player for the under-23s though, he could become an interesting option. In a similar way, if a client club in a lower tier was looking at a player with Trent's profile, then Cassius becomes an interesting option. His attacking metrics are very good as he averages 5.36 progressive runs and 3.68 dribbles per 90 with 0.12 assists per 90. Once again though, it is his passing and progression metrics that really stand out with 9.79 progressive passes per 90, 5.49 passes into the final third per 90 and 4.05 passes into the penalty area per 90. Denzel Cassius is a very interesting option. Last and not least on this list is Mafuzinho, 20 years old from Flamengo and Brazil, in my personal opinion, by far has the best name on this list. Mafuzinho is a 20 year old Brazilian right back who is currently contracted to Flamengo in the top flight of Brazilian football. He is a product of the Ladrina Youth Academy but he made a move to Flamengo, one of the two giants of the Brazilian and South American football in 2019. At the time of writing, the Brazilian season is underway and Mafuzinho has played 612 minutes with the above data being captured from the current season. He is listed at 171cm, 5'6 and is right footed. With Brexit, clubs across England in particular are scrambling to come across terms with the changes to recruitment. While recruitment from the EU has become more challenging though, the South American market has opened up and Mafuzinho would be eligible for a move to the UK given his performance in the Libertadores. He is one of the more well balanced players on the shortlist with good outputs in the attacking, passing and defensive metrics without truly standing out in any. In the attacking phase, he is averaging 1.32 progressive runs with 4.56 crosses per 90. With his passing and progressive metrics, he has averaged 11.32 passes per 90, with 5.44 passes into the final third per 90 and 0.15 assists per 90. His passing and progression metrics are strong again, with 11.32 progressive passes per 90, 5.44 passes into the final third per 90 and 4.26 passes into the penalty area per 90. Mafuzinho is an extremely aggressive defensive player who likes to step out in front of the ball and is shown with his 12.25 possession adjusted interceptions.
So, to conclude, while there is no doubt that Trent Alexander-Arnold is a world-class player, it is entirely possible to find alternatives to the young Liverpool right-back through player profiling and data comparisons. While Liverpool will not be looking to replace him at any time soon, there are players out there who represent viable options to clubs that are looking to adopt a similar style of play to the Merseyside clubs. But unfortunately, that wraps up this video. A big shout out to Lee Scott who wrote this article which you can find on the Total Football Analysis website and also make sure you follow Lee Scott at Twitter at FM Analysis. My name is RDF, it's been a pleasure recording this video for you guys but don't forget to make sure you are subscribed to Total Football Analysis, like this video, you can share it as well, that will help us but also leave a comment if you have any content recommendations. I will speak to you soon, stay safe and peace out.